In painting, a game-changing feature in Focus that can elevate your image editing skills. You may know the image generated in Focus had some limitations, resulting in imperfect facial features. However, today we'll discover how to overcome these flaws. Unlike my other videos, I'll be taking a non-linear approach here. I'll intentionally make mistakes to demonstrate the optimal use cases for in painting, as well as when it's best to avoid it. By doing so, you'll gain a deeper understanding of which specific aspects of in painting are most crucial in different situations. I've opened Focus and selected the input image checkbox. Next, I'll navigate to the in paint or out paint tab, which brings up a large upload box. Let's write a prompt, woman in a park, front facing. My intention is to create an unflattering image of a woman, which will allow me to demonstrate the impressive capabilities of the algorithm. Although Focus technology has already produced a surprisingly good image, I want to create a less than ideal result, so I'll make some adjustments. To achieve this, I'll remove the style settings and alter the aspect ratio, preventing Focus from applying its usual enhancements. Looks like I need to modify the prompt. Let's add a few words like, walking in park, shot from distance, black pants to keep the object in center. The generated image is quite unimpressive, to say the least. The face, in particular, looks improperly. This should be a good image to demonstrate the in-paint function. Next, I'll drag and drop this image into the designated image box. If your browser doesn't allow this, you can simply save the image and then upload it to the box. Once it's uploaded, I'll select the Improve Detail option from the drop-down menu below. This will give me a virtual white marker, allowing me to draw and make adjustments as needed. Additionally, there are some smaller buttons available that can be used to refine the image further. The Undo button allows me to retract any mistakes I make while drawing, while the Erase button clears the entire canvas. I can also adjust the brush size to suit my needs. Now, I will choose a brush that matches the size of her face and carefully draw over it. Next, I'll select the Detailed Girl Face option from the Quick List, which will apply the necessary adjustments. With that done, click the Generate button. As the previews load, you can see Focus identifying the areas I painted and enhancing them accordingly. And her face has been transformed to perfection. If your prompt results in unflattering faces, you now have the tools to rectify the issue. By comparing the original and revised images side by side, the improvements are evident. Always select the entire areas you want to fix, and don't miss out on any. In painting works on the selected area you paint over. Next, I will write a prompt for an image of a woman in the gym, black shorts, drinking water. Note that this prompt I am writing does not follow the way I spoke. In my older video, I am looking for an inaccurate result so that I can demonstrate the in paint tool Focus offers. Before we begin, I'll remove the existing image by clicking the cross mark and unchecking the box. As you can see, the resulting image has a woman with distorted hands. Let's try fixing it. I'll drag and drop the image into the in paint tool. Let's resize the brush and zoom in. Using Ctrl plus key on Windows or Command plus key on Mac. I'll draw over it. Select the in paint method to improve details. 
and adjust the prompt to detailed hand. But will this approach succeed? Let's find out. Well, nothing much happened. This is due to the bottle. Let's try removing it. The lesson here is that you must eliminate any obstacles before proceeding with in painting. Because we need to remove the object, I will select Modify Content. I'll remove the original image. Drag and drop the current one. And then select the object I want to eliminate. Now, what should our prompt be? If we want to remove this object, should we leave the prompt blank? Unfortunately, the AI won't recognize it that way. The culprit could be the first prompt we provided earlier. Let's try again, this time removing it. In the in paint prompt, let's type hand so the AI just get it. However, after generating, we still don't get what we want. Instead, this reminds me of the eye from Lord of the Rings. So, what's going wrong? How can we successfully remove an object using in paint? I'll try selecting the entire hand and adding the prompt empty hand to specify the desired outcome. It's a success. The bottle is gone, although she now is missing a finger. The key takeaway here is that when removing objects, it's essential to select the area where the object should be removed and specify what the result should be after the object is gone. As you might expect, I'll demonstrate how to correct the hand. I start by dragging and dropping the image, selecting in paint method as improved detail. And the additional prompt will be detailed hands. After selecting the woman's hand, I will hit generate. But as you can see, the result is still the same. This exercise teaches us an important lesson. The detailed hand feature can fix fragmented hands, but not ones with detailed errors. So, what's the real solution? We need to modify the hand itself. To do this, I go back and choose the third option, Modify Content, specifying hand with five fingers, and adding for fingers to the negative prompt. This negative prompt acts as a safeguard, preventing unwanted features from appearing in the artwork. And as you can see, we now have a normal, human-like hand. The key takeaway is that, it's essential to choose Modify Content option, which allows for more precise control, rather than relying on the Improve Detail option. Let's move on to the next step, giving her a water bottle, bringing the new image into InPaint. I will keep the method same as Modify Content because we want to add an object, changing the prompt to Water Bottle in Hand. I will select the hand and hit generate for the result. We got the bottle in her hand. Specifying details about the bottle should make it perfect. As I mentioned earlier, I've taken a trial and error approach to demonstrate when and how to use in painting, as well as which situations require specific in painting tools.